so my topic for a uh, tool demonstration is S3 glacier it is a service provided by AWS which helps us to store the uh, so store and retrieve the data we can use it to store uh, the archive data which we don't use frequently it is one of the frequently uh, used uh, service for storing the data it is one of the cheapest way to store the data we can store the data like CCTV recordings, media archives, which we don't use frequently. We have seen or worked upon S3 in our practical. So basically, we use S3 if the need uh, is you know for low latency and if you want to uh, request like frequently access the data. But we use S3 Glacier for uh, low storage cost and when we don't have to uh, download or access the data frequently. So coming towards the demonstration, firstly. I'll go to the AWS console and we'll search S3 Glacier. After that, in here, I'll create a vault first. I'll give my name as the vault name. Then I'll turn off the notifications and we'll create a vault. The vault will be created. But now here there is uh, no option you know, to add the data. So what we have to do is we have to basically download this uh, fast glacier app which is like 1.7 MB app and I have already downloaded, downloaded it and in this app basically I have to create an account say so I'll uh, give this name to the account for that we need your access id and secret access for that we'll go back again to the aws console and we'll create one i am user in the users uh, suppose if i take this user I can't use this user as uh, you know I have to create an access key for it so basically I'll create one user again add user I'll name it as test user and we'll set the password for it I'll custom the password for it the permissions tab under here I'll attach the existing policies and will give the administrator access to it and after that I'll create this user after uh, successfully creating the user I'll download the CSV file for further credentials and we'll go again back to the users tab From here, I'll generate the access key for it. This is my user, and in under the security credentials, I can generate the access key. So this is one-time access key which we get. So access key ID, I'll copy it and will paste it over here. Along with that, I'll copy the secret access key and we'll paste it over here and I'll add the new account so after adding the new account whatever walls which we have created on the AWS everything will be reflected here and it will take some time so I basically created <coughs> the vault in Mumbai and this is the vault which I created and it will reflect all the other vaults which are been created as well so under this vault I will upload suppose like a, a, a new folder like I want to upload the data so uh, I can upload the file suppose I'll upload a new empty file which I'll create data basically this is the folder right so I have to select a folder upload a folder 
and uh, on the desktop which I created test data I'll upload it so accordingly it will take time to upload so it will queued and it will take some time to upload it the folder was empty it won't upload it I need to uh, put some data onto it so I'll upload this folder and see it has been uploaded so in the similar way uh, when my uh, I want to access the data I'll simply download it and while downloading it you'll get like three options uh, uh, to download your data firstly is XP expedited so it will download as soon as possible like it will download very rapidly like in one to five minutes of the approval and it will cost a bit um, then there is standard it will take three to five hours to download the data and bulk so after like uh, approval you need to give the storage like the path where you want to store the data and after giving uh, the path it will download it on uh, that location but I'm not using it because it will cost me money so in this way I have to upload the data and download the data on the S3 Glacier uh, so thank you